Africa accounts for over a sixth of the world's population, but generates only 4% of global electricity. And the situation is bound to get worse as the demand for power continues to grow. In Uganda, out of 111 districts with one capital city named Kampala, 62% of these districts do not have electricity. And those that have are faced with the problem of load shedding. This has made the use of a computer or e-learning a dream amongst the biggest population. In 2011, the Ugandan government made a promise to provide ICT access to the country's 5,000 schools, a project to be managed by the Uganda Communications Commission. However, these efforts were frustrated by high power consuming computers with plastic casings that would not withstand the hot climatic conditions and dusty environment in rural areas. This is a story of how the Alusha solar computers have changed e-learning and the lives of people in Uganda. Alusha has innovated solar computers designed to suit the rural Africa with a solid aluminium chasis and a fanless design that handles areas with hot climatic conditions and dusty environmental conditions. Moreover, running on 12 voltage batteries without requiring an AC inverter or even a DC regulator. These computers consume very little power. So for the energy used to power an energy saving bulb, you can comfortably power the Alusha computer, doing everything the same that a standard computer does. So in a place where you don't have grid power and you must rely on renewable energy such as solar power, the Alusha computer comes in handy. These computers really have helped us. The fact that we don't have hydro power this side, but we have managed to educate our students as we are using these solar computers, as they withstand all conditions. We tend to call it a maintenance-free computer because we don't have much need to get them checked and maintained. So the computers have done tremendously very good. They have actually helped our students because before the computers were introduced in this school, our students did not have any, any knowledge about the use of computers. They even didn't know actually even how the computer itself looks like. This school has leapfrogged from hand-drawn periodic tables, hand-drawn human anatomy and maps of the world, to powerful interactive software that dramatically improves these students' education and empowers their teachers, providing them with the tools and knowledge they need to succeed in this world. Students who are so thirsty for knowledge that they rise at six and walk two hours to school now have the resources to compete in this world. We've been able to use solar computers ever since they were installed here and surely they have changed our lives greatly because most of us, we are deep in the village where we don't expect even to see the shape of the computer. But as a matter of fact, since these computers were brought here, we've been able to touch, to see, and to use. The future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed. Let's use solar computers to distribute the future to transform education and empower these young students. So I invite governments to come to Uganda and see how this government has invested in its future.